Here's a data table previously created showing the velocity of a car at one second time intervals. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a graph of this. So the easiest way to do this is to select the columns of data and then hit the insert tab. And we're not going to do a line graph. Never use that. Um, it's rarely used in science. We're going to use a scatter plot, which will plot x and y. And you hit that and it creates the plot for you. Now it has assumed what you wanted to be on the horizontal axis and what you wanted to have on the vertical axis. And sometimes it gets that assumption correct and sometimes it doesn't. In this case it has it correct. Now a few things about Excel. Um, it puts a key here, unless you have more than one graph on the same plot, um, that's really pointless. The label, we can make the label something more um, generic here. And we can also change the size of that so it's not so humongous. There we go. We can make the graph a little bigger here within the box. And we need to put in some uh, labels for our axes. So we go here. If you've you're selected in a cell on the spreadsheet, you don't have it. But if you select the graph or the, the plot, you have chart tools here, which includes the layout. And on the layout, you can then go to Axis Titles, and we can put in a title here. Oh, here we go. Axis Title, and here this will be in uh, Time. And we want to put in the units there as well. Now, we also go to Axis Titles, Primary Vertical Axis, and here we will put in Velocity. And don't forget the units. Now I dislike how Excel uses these huge markers for your data points. So you can hover over one of those markers, right click, and do Format Data Series. Go to Marker Options. Don't do the automatic, that's when it gives you those humongous ones. And just make it a smaller size. You can also change the shape if you want. Personally, I prefer the round ones. You can also change the color and whatnot if you'd like. Oh, and I have a typo here. Velocity. There we go. Okay, and there's a nice graph. By the way, if, um, if it switches the axes, confuses your X and Y, so to speak, you can go here to select the data and hit the switch column and row.